sick is no fun and we are in peak flu season right now. So I figured I would show you my routine for days when I'm not feeling so hot or if I'm not actually sick and I just want to have a nice chilled out day. So the first step is getting out of bed. And honestly, this is the hardest part for me when I'm not feeling well because I just don't want to leave my cozy bed. But hey, life isn't going to slow down and whether it's school or work or some other obligation, sometimes you just can't stay under the covers. If you're having a day like this, I'm sending you a huge hug right now and I'm hoping that this video helps get you out of bed and makes everything a little bit easier. After getting out of bed, I like to jump in the shower. And when you're not feeling well, a nice warm shower can work wonders. So I like using the Lush Almond and Coconut Smoothie. This is ultra hydrating and a great way to pamper yourself when you're not feeling like using a ton of products. And then I gotta brush my teeth because you just gotta do that every day, right? I hope so at least. So that's what I'm doing here. I said I'd fall. When it comes to skincare on a day like this, I don't like going through a crazy routine, so I just stick to the essentials. And the first thing I'm going to be using is the Origins Checks and Balances Frothy Face Wash. I really love this. It's an amazing face wash, and I just lather it up in my hands, and you can see how frothy it gets, just like the name says. And I just put this all over my face, and then once it's evenly distributed, I just rinse it off with some water. For moisturizer, I'm going to be using the Carez Greek Yogurt Moisturizing Face Cream. And I really like this because it's very soothing, it's a little bit more hydrating and great for days when your skin really needs that extra moisture. And don't forget to bring your moisturizer down onto your neck because that's actually one of the first places where your skin shows signs of aging. When you're not feeling well, your eye area is probably gonna show signs of that. And that's why I like using the Origins Ginseng Eye Cream. It feels nice and cool when you put it on so it really helps with puffiness and it has a little bit of shimmer in it which totally brightens brightens up the eye area like you wouldn't believe. If you decide to wear makeup, I would recommend starting off with a primer, and I've been loving Benefit's Professional. I've honestly tried this on my hands a bajillion times, and I've always been skeptical about it because it felt greasy, but I love this. It is my new favorite primer. It really makes your pores disappear and helps your makeup last longer. Next, I'm going to be using the Revlon Photo Ready Skin Lights Face Illuminator, and this is in Bare Light. And this is something that you can use to brighten up your complexion. So I'm just putting a little bit of this on the back of my hand, and then I'm going to be using my Jouer Matte Moisture Tint. And you guys know I absolutely love this stuff. I'm adding this to the back of my hand as well, mixing it together, and using my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush to apply it onto my face. And in case you're wondering, the illuminator does not make you look oily whatsoever. It just adds a nice natural radiance that your skin can really use on days when it looks a little bit dull. I'm going to be skipping the concealer today and I'm actually just going to be using that same mixture of the illuminator with the matte moisture tint and I'm using that around my eye area to cover up any dark circles and discoloration. To add some color back into your complexion, go with something that's going to give you a natural flush, but also a little bit of brightening as well. So I'm using the Clinique Uplifting Liquid Illuminator, and this stuff looks super scary when you first use it. Trust me, I was like, oh my gosh. Normally, I really don't like liquid or cream cheek products, but this looks incredibly natural and doesn't make you look oily. To set everything, I'm going to be using the Benefit Professional Agent Zero Shine Powder, which I've talked about and I've just been loving this recently. It makes your skin look freaking flawless, which is awesome. And you don't need to use that much. You just kind of pat it on and you're good to go. Coming in here with a usual product that you guys have seen a ton of times. This is my Anastasia Brow Powder. And this is my favorite thing to use on my brows to fill them in. I just find that it looks the most natural, it's really easy to work with, and I can just mix the two colors together to create the perfect shade for my eyebrows. Another regular is my NARS Eye Primer, and I've said this a gajillion times, but it is the best eyeshadow primer, especially if you have oily eyelids, if you have issues with your eyeshadows creasing, this will keep them in place all day long. 
And for the eye look, I'm going to be using my Urban Decay Naked 3 palette. The first eyeshadow I'm going to be using is Mugshot. And this is like a shimmery taupey brown color. So I'm putting this all over my lid to add a little bit of definition. And then I'm going to be using Burnout. And this is like a slightly shimmery, slightly sparkly, dusty pink color that I love using over the top of another eyeshadow because I find that it just brightens up the entire look. And last, I'm going to be using Strange, which is strange because it's not really a strange color at all. And I'm using this just on the inner corner of my eyes. For eyeliner, I'm going to be using Urban Decay's 24-7 eyeliner in Dark Side. And this actually matches one of the eyeshadows in the Naked 3 palette. This eyeliner is beautiful because it has a hint of purple in it and it's especially great for people with brown eyes because purple complements brown really nicely. And it also just adds a nice bit of definition without being as harsh as a black liner. Then it's time for my favorite part of my doing makeup process of um, curling my lashes. So I'm just coming in with my Shu Uemura eyelash curler and then I'm going to be using the Rocket from Maybelline and this is the waterproof formula of course because we all know I have a problem with mascara smudging all over the place. So I'm just coating my lashes with this and I just use one coat, that's all I really need. And last for lips, I want something that's gonna give me everything. Shine, moisture, and color. And that's why I love the Jouer Peach Pearl Lip Enhancer. You just swipe it on, it looks super natural, you don't have to think about it, and it looks amazing. So this is the finished makeup look, and for outfit, I actually have two to show you guys. The first one is for like, if I'm just hanging around at home. I have this loose fitting top from Victoria's Secret, and I love the coral color. And then I have the Lululemon Wonder Under pants and these are amazing because they're really stretchy and comfy. And then of course my fuzzy slippers because my feet always get really cold. So this is what the first outfit looks like on. As you can see it's super casual, nothing fancy, and it's just great to kind of lay around the house in. But you can also go out in it. Now if I really have to go out and like be somewhat presentable, I will wear something like this. So I have this like plum colored top from Brandy Melvin. And then over the top, I have this baggy cable knit sweater from Anthropology, which I am so in love with. It's really warm, and I think it's really cute too. And then I have my BCBG leggings, and these are awesome because they're comfortable, but still really sleek. And I love wearing these with my Jeffrey Campbell boots. I just got these fairly recently, and they are amazing. So comfortable and so cute. And this is what it looks like when everything is on. For hair, I'd normally just keep my hair down and natural, but if I do feel like styling it, then I will just go with a messy side braid because I literally don't have to do anything except braid it and then mess it up a little bit and that is it. It's really easy and I think it looks nice too. So that is the finished look and now it is time for my get well chicken soup recipe. So the first thing you're gonna need is about a quarter of an onion that's been diced a handful of chopped celery, one clove of chopped garlic, and a handful of carrot pieces. Let a skillet heat up with a little bit of olive oil and some butter. And a tip is to put the butter into the olive oil so the butter doesn't burn. Shake it up a bit so it coats the entire pan, and then you can add in your onions, celery, and garlic. Add in some salt and pepper to your liking, and then saute until the onions are translucent. Then you're gonna need some low sodium chicken broth. And I am filling up my pot about halfway. It just depends on how much soup you wanna make. And then I'm going to be taking some poultry seasoning, which you can just find near the other seasonings in the store. And I'm using about half a teaspoon of that, adding it in, mixing it together, and the stove is on, so it's gently heating up as I'm adding in all these ingredients. So now I'm adding in the sauteed vegetables, the carrots, and I'm going to add in some cream of mushroom soup for a little extra flavor and some creamy texture. So I'm using about half a can here. If you're making more though, put in the whole can. And in a separate little pot, I brought some water to a boil and it also has salt in it. 
and I'm using brown rice pasta shells. And brown rice is really good for you and it comes in pasta form too. So then I'm just taking some leftover chicken that I had in my fridge. This is a great way to use some leftover chicken. And then chicken. add in about a teaspoon of salt and some freshly ground black pepper. Stir everything together and bring it to a boil and once you've brought it to a boil then turn down the heat and let it simmer with a lid over the top until the carrots are tender. Once it's ready then you can add in your pasta that's been drained and you're ready to serve up your soup. This recipe is not only great for days when you're sick but also for when you just want something that's going to be warm and comforting. This is a wonderful hearty soup to fill your belly with. And now I'm just going to quickly go over some of my sick day essentials. So I drink a ton of water, especially when I'm sick. It really helps. And I also like having good tissues. And my favorite are the Kleenex Cool Touch ones. These are awesome and they will change your life. Trust me. And if I can find the time, I like to just get comfy in bed and watch some Netflix. And I'm currently catching up on Revenge right now, which is one of my favorite shows. It is so, so good. But yeah, I think just relaxing and getting some rest in is really important. So if you're sick, I'm sending lots of love out to you and I will see you guys later. Bye. Different, different as can be. If you're the flower, then I'm, I'm the bee.